All right, it's been a couple weeks, so I thought I'd just check in. Uh, my tooth gap is a little wider, you can see there. Um, first, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your comments. Um, I've been getting a lot of them, more than I thought. Um, so it's really motivating um, to see that people are watching and rooting for me, especially Violet Moon, your comments about how you also had cervical headgear. Um, really appreciate um, your support. Now we're both kind of in this. Um, a lot of other people are. We're trying to improve our faces and breathing and sleep apnea. Um, and it's good to know there are other people following this journey. Um, and also, who are trying to reverse the effects of cervical headgear. If you don't know what cervical headgear, you're just uh, watching this for the first time. It's basically um, something that a lot of traditional orthodontists would give um, patients. It's meant to pull your upper jaw back in order to meet your bottom teeth or your mandible. Um, if your mandible is like too far back, um, of course, we all know that's really bad because it stunts your growth. Um, it's kind of similar issues to when you get extractions, you lose bone support. Um, not really sure which one is worse, but they're both really, really harmful in the long run. Um, but yeah, that's that. So again, thank you guys so much for your comments. Really appreciate it. Um, now a couple observations that I've had over the past couple weeks. Um, the first one is, I'm not sure if this is due to the MSA or any of the appliances that I'm using, but I know in a jaw hacks talk, um, one guy said that he actually got a couple PRs in the gym while wearing MSE. And for the first time, I was actually able to do a one arm chin up and muscle up, which are two calisthenics moves that are very difficult that I've been working on for about six years. So I was super excited about that. Um, and I've been kind of plateauing on them for a really long time. So I don't know what else could have like gotten me past that besides MSE, because I hadn't really been changing my training up too much. Um, potentially getting more oxygen in could have helped. Um, but either way, very happy about that. Um, and I'm getting my CBCT scan next week. I know I said I'd probably get it in two months, but this is more like a month and a half. I'm just really anxious to see if there are any results from the face mask. Because despite being used to wearing it, I am very, very annoying. And, sorry. Just lost my train of thought. It's late at night. Give me a break. Um, it's a huge hindrance. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's hard to like, sometimes it's hard to have a social life where I can kind of have to plan things around when I'm going to wear the face mask. Um, but I've been wearing it 16 hours most days of the week, sometimes 12 hours, but never less than 12 hours. Um, been able to sustain that, but again, it's just a matter of time before I probably crack unless I have some kind of motivation to do this. Um, but I know a couple people have been asking for me to demonstrate putting on the face mask, so that is what I will do next. Um, so as you can see, here is the top part. Um, the first couple nights, I would just wear it against my forehead, but I got like really bad red marks on my forehead and it was just really uncomfortable. So um, from now on, or most of the time, I usually wear a hat to just kind of give a little bit of a cushion, wear it like this. And yeah, I mean, this is gonna look ridiculous, but hey, it works. So put this on here, and then here's the bottom part. Here's the, um, the ball and the metal rod. This is the part that kept falling out when I was wearing it for the first time. Um, but I put some tape in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I put some tape in there and then I um, put the rod back into the ball and that seemed to help. So then I wrap this part around, like under my arms, and stick the Velcro through this slot. And I usually twist this, and you don't really have to have like a super secure, or not super secure, but like you don't have to tighten it too much, um, just enough to get it to stay. I mean, for the most part, like, everyone's gonna wear this slightly differently. You kind of have to experiment, and it'll take a couple of days to figure out the best fit. Um, like, for the first couple of days, I wore a strap around my neck, but then I realized I don't need it, because when you put the rubber bands in, it kind of, like, adds another, like, layer of security to it, if that makes sense. 
and just let it rest like that when I open the rubber bands. I use, um, these are 14 ounce, yeah, 14 ounce rubber bands. I think that's the measurement of force. And then you take two because one isn't going to be long enough. Take two and it might be hard to show in front of the camera, but you basically twist one of them into the other and that basically makes it into a figure eight. Now it'll be long enough. Then I just attach these to the hooks on the back of um, MSE. Like that. And just repeat. Yeah, again, it's kind of a cumbersome process, but you get used to it. Of course, I just hope I really hope this will all be worth it. Um, and we'll see you soon enough. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes these fall. I'll just pick it up later. And you can talk and pretty much function normally for the most part while wearing this, although I wouldn't like work out. Maybe you can walk, do like a light jog on a treadmill or something, but probably don't want to go weightlifting with this. And obviously, like, it's not the most fun thing to be out in public with either. Yeah, so I think this is, uh, 12 rubber bands and all that I use when I attach it because I use three per side, three pairs per side. One side complete. Alright, this is what it looks like. In terms of the angle, I like to have the rubber bands kind of perpendicular to my bite. It's weird because it, it feels like um, it's a little higher, but it's just because my lips are like pressing up um, because the hooks are like in line with the teeth, not exactly the bite. But that's kind of what it looks like from the side. And it is kind of annoying to look up and down, but you can look to the side pretty well. And that's about it. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions or comments, um, but I hope you found this useful. Take care.